I've been waiting for you, Doctor. Now, I will show the glorious achievement of what the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. The Ark was the first space colony created by mankind. Not many people know that the Ark contained a top secret research facility where weapons of mass destruction were being created. This is one of them, a weapon capable of destroying an entire planet, codenamed the Eclipse Cannon. Destroying an entire planet? Was this my grandfather's legacy? But it's been deactivated for some time now. To reactivate it, large amounts of energy are necessary. Oh, so that's why we needed the Chaos Emerald. Exactly. To reactivate the machine, we need the seven Chaos Emeralds. Once you have that, then you have the ultimate power of destruction to use as you please. And then, the world could be yours. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I like the way you think, Shadow. I will get the Chaos Emerald, use the machine to dominate the world and build a legacy of my own. Do you really think own. it will be that easy? Idea. How about making a deal? A uh, deal? When you grabbed that huge emerald, you said something about a reaction. A reaction that it may have with the Master Emerald. Now, if you could just let me borrow that radar, I may be able to help you. What do you think? If I do, what's in it for me? I have an idea where the other Chaos Emeralds may be. I may not look like it, but do you know that I am a treasure hunter that specializes in all kinds of jewels? Very well. Okay then, it's a deal. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Rouge the Bat, but you can call me Rouge. Having to come back isn't my idea of a vacation. How can you be sure your intelligence reports are correct? Why would the Chaos Emeralds be here on the island? Are you absolutely sure? Well, believe what you want to believe. <laughs> very well, very well. Let's discuss how we are going to do this. I will go in first and distract the military troops, allowing you to sneak in the base without being detected. Then, Shadow will enter the armory, where he will set the timer on these dynamite packs. Once that is in place, we will blow up the whole island and get away before anyone has a chance to know what hit them. Meanwhile, we'll have to sneak into the cargo area and grab the Chaos Emerald. That's a challenge for such a worthy treasure hunter as yourself, isn't it, that girl? We only have 30 minutes to pull this mission off, and we only get one try, so don't fail me. Hello everybody, Herp Derp, I'm Walrus, and after four minutes of cutscenes, we're back with another Eggman level. And this one might be darker than ever, you might think, but... No! We finally get a light Eggman level for once. One where we can actually, uh, shoot all of these... Domic... I don't know the correct word for it. Is it domicile? No, that's the word for, like, house. Docile? Well, sedentary robots, I guess that would be the right word for it. And just rack up a bunch of combos. See, I just shot, like, I got a 28 combo right there. Is that going to take care of all of these robots that are sitting still? Uh, except for, like, three. So, who really cares? I got a perfect and a nice. So, as long as they just keep on running, I think I'll be fine. So, let's just shoot everything around us and go in here to get a new power-up. A large cannon. It's the Vulcan Cannon Power-Up. This Vulcan Cannon Power-Up will allow us to... Break open steel containers. Breaking open steel can containers will allow us to go further into the level. So fly up and actually, sh no, you can shoot the planes in this level. This was kind of what I was mistaking for when I was in Tails level about shooting the planes earlier. 
So, yeah, you can shoot the planes at Eggman's level. Just shoot everything in your way and everything you don't want to be in your way. And that's pretty much it. Eggman's levels, shoot the crap out of stuff. There is no need for humanity, whether they be humans or robots. There's just the evil of Eggman and trying to get his Eggman empire. So, let's spring on up and hover over to the bubble and you get 10 rings. So, it's ring central right now. This guy's going to follow us. We're going to kill him right now. I do not want to get hit. Because I actually want a good ranking on this. Because I've been doing good on rank so far and I kind of don't want to jinx it with a few bad ones. I know I've gotten an E, but I digress either way. So let's destroy those and go around this little smidgen of a corner here that probably we shouldn't even be allowed to go through. Yes, son of a biscuit. And let's destroy this large plane with just one giant light bullet. Well, those light bullets like look like the ones that you got from uh, Sonic. It looks like the uh, helper lady from Sonic Adventure. Yeah. I don't know. The things I point out in this game are just odd. Odd is the correct word for it. Those cutscenes were very, very, very informative. So now we know why Shadow wanted Eggman to bring in the emeralds up there, and so did Eggman, apparently. <laughs> so, to fire a weapon of mass destruction called the Eclipse Cannon. So, this is going to help Eggman rule the world, and also help Shadow exact revenge, which Eggman knows nothing about, mind you. So shoot the crap out of this guy and move on. So let's just keep on running and avoid these butts. And I know you're going to leave explosions in front of me, so I'm not even going to bother to get in your way. So let's just keep on locking onto things and get a big old combo racked up. Get another perfect main. I don't know. This is just a place for combos, apparently. So those weren't four in a row. I just shot them randomly at a time. And these guys might be in the way. These plants are going to drop a crap load of bombs. And I wasn't prepared for that guy. That guy scared me into killing myself. And I hate doing that. So I'll meet you all back to where I was. So now that I'm back here, I'm not actually going to kill myself and actually kill him. And we're actually going to make it through here and destroy these things with our Vulcan cannon. Vulcanicity. Oh, those darn water... That water volcano and YouTube poops. That guy creeps the crap out of me. So, now that we're breaking all these boxes, we can finally get to the goal ring and finish off Eggman stage. Alright, since I died once, I am definitely going to get an E. Since, due to the fact that I'm not even going to get over 10,000. That was too close. That was too close. I kind of died. So, yeah, it was as close as it could get. Okay, everyone ready? Shadow, Rouge, on with the show! Oh, Sonic! I thought I'd never see you again! I'm so glad you made it! You're not Sonic! Who are you? I'm the one who should be asking that. Dr. Eggman! Amy, you're kind of Leave it to me! I'll take care of her! You two, go! There's something I didn't get about that cutscene. Why was her timing impeccable? Was he being sarcastic, or is he planning on taking her for a hostage? Well, he never does. I was just totally wondering. Boss battle against enemy tails, and even in the cutscene, we get time off. So like three seconds of a cutscene is kind of bad. So let's just continue to spam the crap out of the button and then get him a little bit more and finish him off with one last cannon attack. Dang, this took a while. Did I die? I swear I killed him, but okay. You better not say anything, Omo Chow. No, shut up. I know I have a Vulcan cannon too, and it's powering up and attacking him. You don't even have to worry about me. I can just destroy him by myself. There we go. Better luck next time, Fox Boy. I love it when he calls him Fox Boy. I don't know. There's just something about it that I just like. It has a ring to it. 15 seconds. Might have been longer than my last one. I'm in 
position, Doctor. Tell me when. There's been an unexpected delay on my end. There's no more time to waste. Set the timer for 15 minutes. Let's go, Rouge. Five minutes should be plenty. Here I go. Why did you totally just create your stupid time period, Rouge? What is wrong with you? So now we're on a security hall, one of the more longer levels in this game. You gotta, f well, not really long, since you have a time limit. You have to find all three Chaos Emeralds hidden in this base in five minutes. I managed to beat this level in a minute 30 seconds of my practice run due to the fact that I kept running into the Emeralds every chance I go. One of them was in the robot at the start of the level, the other was on a pulley leading up, and the other one was just plain in sight. I forget where it was. It was just somewhere in sight. So let's just keep flying around until we get a reading or until we can actually find a television around here. And we just don't want to waste time because every like minute or so Eggman is going to yell at us. Protect blue, huh? What in the world does that mean? And I can't see blue. This is just grand. Let's see what you have to say. What are you going to say? A dark room, huh? So it's probably somewhere in the dead center of it all. So let's go check that. See, every time, every time you dawdle around every minute, he's going to scream at your face. So, I guess Eggman doesn't, isn't really a fan of dawdling all that much, but but I love dawdling. Dawdling is so much fun. So, what is that? Was that a dot? How was that a dot? So, dark room, huh? Let's keep on climbing up. I don't know, just everything was in place for me the last time, and... The times I record this after practicing actually a level just seems like, I don't know, it seems like I'm not trying. I don't know, but it just, I'm trying. It's just the fact that the, it's just the placement of the emeralds during the actual story mode is kind of done, kind of difficult. Is it inside you, Mr. Robot? Yes, it is. And the fact that you were harboring the Chaos Emerald makes me think, why weren't you strong enough to defeat me? So... Stop yelling at me every minute, you fucker! Stop it! You're a bully! Really? Did I just... I keep dying, because I suck. So, it's not... So, if you die... I didn't. I never said this before. If you die when searching for three things... The, uh, it's, stop telling me things every one minute, freaking Eggman! I know to get going! Okay, like I was saying before, blue floor, huh? So I'm guessing it's still up here since this was blue last time. I guess this might be blue. Who really knows? So, wait, is it in the same spot? If you die, it's usually not in the same spot. Okay, it's not. So I was totally right. So maybe I should be able to climb up and it should be somewhere around here. It should be near here since it was turning as soon as I reached the middle there. Huh. Let's just continue to fly then. So, where did I go? Did I just turn midair? Can I please just get an accurate reading of where it might be? Or am I just gonna fly around like an imbecile? I'll meet you back when it turns red. Alright, since I died again, I might as well look for another one, shall we? And the other one was directly in the robot, like I said. Oh my goodness. So, three cylinders for the last one. And I do not want to listen to you, Eggman, since I know it was at the three minute mark and I know you have to say something, but I am totally not going to say anything. Watch out for the red laser. Red laser is meaning up here. You may be noticing I'm down a life. Well, I kind of died again. But due to the fact that I can't figure out, it's taken me forever to figure this out, but I do not know how to get into a little thing called a safe. I know so with some of the safes in this level, all you have to do is dig directly into the gun emblem. Shut up. You just have to dig directly into the gun logo and the safe will open. For the rest of them, however... Oh, am I... Can I not get any rings? Oh, jeez. And I died again! What the frig? And I've got no hints as to where the next one is. So, let's look at another television. There's one on either side of here. A place which is protected by lasers. Every place here is protected by lasers. What do you have to say? A cardboard box above? So that means there's a cardboard box with it somewhere around here. What are you going to say? What are you going to say, mister? Blue A. A blue A, huh? So it's actually in one of these blocks around here. So it might be up here. Well, if I can actually check. Do you remember which floor the safes are on that you want? 
Well, yeah, of course. So let's hop on. What do you have to do? I forget what you have to do. You lead a little hole over there to what? Nothing? A grand total of zip, not a zero? Eh, who really knows? So let's just fly around a little bit more. So there's a wooden plank up above, and this place is protected by lasers, so it might be somewhere up here if I'm not mistaken. So let's turn around, go here. And this one with the gun logo on it, you have to dig into the logo and open up the door. And once you do that, you get hurt. What? Is there visible lasers? Oh, jeez. So now that I got this stupid emerald after dying three times for no reason, I'm going to get my rank. And sadly, it's not an A like I usually got before. Let's see. Even though I died, I still got a C. Wow. So anyway, now that we're done with another Eggman level and another Rouge level, I'm going to call it an episode right here. So anyway, Herb Derp, I'm Walrus, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.